Channel First Warning Weather with Jim Spencer. Let's begin on the storm profiler tonight and show you more heavy rain that fell in the hill country, this time up in San Saba County. Some three and four inch rainfall totals there northwest, north and northeast of San Saba with some five and six inch rainfall totals indicated over in parts of Lampasas County. Now I want to show you a graphic here. This is directly from the LCRA Hydromet website. This is stream flow and you see those purple areas there? That's the Colorado River watershed. So the heaviest rain there fell there in Lampasas County, it's not even going to get Get into the Colorado River, but all of this that fell in San Saba County is going to help Lake Buchanan. And as you know, Lake Buchanan never really fully recovered from the drought. In fact, uh, this part of the Colorado River is up 3,000 cubic feet per second in stream flow just in 7 o'clock tonight. This area of the San Saba River has gone up 15 feet. The river's increased 15 feet today to within 3 feet of bank full. That water is all going down the San Saba River into the Colorado River and then down into Lake Buchanan. There's more good news. And get this. I don't know if you heard about this this morning, but 8 to 10 inches of rain fell down on the upper end of the South Llano River by Rock Springs and down toward Del Rio. They had even more. All of that water flowing down the South Fork of the Llano, that too will eventually get down here to Lake LBJ. That's not going to go into Buchanan, but it will act to help hold Lake Travis steady at least for a few days. According to Bob Rose out at the LCRA, I spoke to him this evening. That's good because Lake Travis has been now falling a little bit every day. So we'll take all the water we can get out there, especially needed in Lake McCannon. I think it's going to help out a little bit tonight. In Austin, a trace, boy, we're dry. Uh, deficit for the month of May is now two inches plus. And based on my seven-day forecast tonight, which takes us into June, it's looking pretty likely that we're going to end May at, at significantly drier than normal. And the El Nino, you know, we pronounced that dead last week. So if we don't get our normal June rain, it's going to be a hot summer, I'm afraid. It's always a hot summer, maybe extraordinarily hot and dry. Temperatures tonight, 70s across the area, still warm, still muggy, mostly cloudy in 78. At Mabry, it's mostly cloudy in 75 degrees now at the airport. Our winds are south-southeasterly at 6 to 7 miles per hour tonight. Mold count was medium today. That's better. 841, that's as good as we've seen it in a week. Uh, grass at 28 is low. Tomorrow, medium on the mold and low on the grass pollen. Around Texas, 80 in Dallas, humid, 77 in Houston, 71 in San Antonio. Have a trough of low pressure out here to the west, and we have a ridge of high pressure off here to the east. And in this alley, this axis in between, scattered showers and thunderstorms have been developing the last couple of days. Now, over the next several days, as we head toward Memorial Day, the ridge of high pressure is going to build over us, meaning less and less in the way of rain chances, we believe. Our computer model says we could see a few more flare up tomorrow, tomorrow kind of like today, and then go away tomorrow night and then maybe a couple flare up again on Thursday, but not enough to get excited about. Here are your lows tonight, 60s to near 70 and high temperatures tomorrow, a little closer to 90 degrees if you don't get a well-timed shower tomorrow. Low clouds coming in off the Gulf tonight in 72. Tomorrow, a mix of clouds and sun, but a shower could happen. What are the chances of that where you live? 20% tomorrow. Again, near 90 degrees. Now, after tomorrow, uh, we'll take probabilities below 20%. In fact, we'll say isolated activity, meaning about a 10% chance from Thursday all the way through Memorial Day weekend and even into Tuesday of next week. And I don't like those temperatures there on Saturday or Sunday. That'll be a hot camp out. 94 for the highs. On Austin News Today in the morning, weather and traffic together every 10 minutes, beginning at 5.